Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. In this lecture, I am just going to show that how to find out self weight of RCC columns. So, uh, for RCC columns, how we'll find out its self weight, I am going to show you that in this lecture. And also, if you're a civil engineer, then in our channel, they have many civil engineering basic video. You can watch that, and also its playlist are given in description. I mean playlist link, and also. We mainly focus on software tutorials, I mean basic software that are required for a civil engineer. We focus on that. So it's also learning tutorial are given in description. So you can watch or that video. So let's uh, start. And if you're a civil engineer, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update every first. So first of all, see here, here is a cross-sectional area and 3d view of our rcc beam so here you are seeing that our total uh, we have considered our uh, column height are 10 a 10 feet okay column height 10 feet i mean column height after that are uh, the uh, the column length we can consider the column length and it's for its cross section we have considered that it's uh, the long side is 18 inch and I mean the length is 18 inch and width is 16 inch. So from here, I'll just show that how we find out its self weight. So uh, first of all, simply we'll find out its cross-sectional area of column. So if we see here, 18 divided by 12 at as 18 is in inch. That's why we'll divide it by 12 to convert it feet then multiply with its width what is the width 16 inch width and i have multiplied i sorry i have divided by uh, 12 i have divided by uh, 12 both 18 and 16 i have divided by 12 to convert that into feet so i'll uh, found that 2 square feet of its cross sectional area so its cross sectional area is 2 square feet now i'll find out its volume so the total volume of the column will be 2 into 10 as uh, 2 is the total length I'm mean, sorry uh, 2 is the cross sectional area of that column and total height is 10 feet so we'll find that 20 CFT total volume is 20 CFT now we know that unit weight of RCC 150 pound per CFT right 150 pound per CFT so uh, for that actually if we multiply that total unit weight with its total volume then we'll found its total self weight so just simply here total self weight w is equal to 20 into 150 equal to 3000 pounds that means 3 kips if we convert that uh, pound to kips we have to divide it by 1000 then we'll found 3 kips just see here it is uh, very very simple and it's really a important basic for a civil engineer so i think that was helpful for you and if you also think that you have really learned something from here then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon to our channel and also like our video share our video and don't forget to leave a comment cause yeah, your opinion and your comment is very very important for us to improve our quality and for everything so leave a comment and also like our video thank you thank you very much stay connected till next video